Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess. Um, it would, I would really appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see next. So today's video, it, we're coming to an end of these testing palettes. Uh, this is the chilli one, the tasty chilli and I'm going to try and create um, like a spotlight eye with this. So we will jump straight into that. Um, but first I am going to moisturise my skin and I'm going to use today the, again a revolution one, the calming boost. Um, I've put about, I put so much makeup on today, um, I filmed like a look before this which should be up, it is, was testing the peach palette um, but I tried to, 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 to do two different looks. Um, that I didn't like before I got to the one that I liked so I'm just gonna moisturize my skin Morphe 441 brush and this is the inside of the chili palette looks like this and we're gonna go in with hot sauce which is like this orange shade just there and I think I'm going to do another winged out um, spotlight eye. So, actually, I'm just going to keep it. Do you know what I'm going to do? We're going to do it like this. So, I'm going to go in with it again, it's like a rose gold, it just looks like a packing brush. Just so and make sure that it stays circle and then bringing it up kind of around sometimes if you want to do like a shape it's fun to in first Trying to build up the colour on the crease a bit more. This is not the correct way to blend it out, but we're just gonna keep on going. And I'm gonna go in with a blending brush. This is the Morphe 441, and I'm just gonna start to blend this colour out and just bring this through the crease. I'm just blending on top of it as well, just so it diffuses that line over. That's how it's looking so far, and then I'm going to go into the shade Red Hot. So that is this red shade right here, and I'm going to place this just like through the crease, try and get it as specific as I can through the crease so when I cut it, you can see that red very defined. And like the orange will be there, but you'll also see quite a lot of the red. So as you can see, I've kind of just placed it there. I know it looks crazy at the minute, but it will like all come together. I'm just going back on this one and blending this one out. And then I'm going to go back in on the original Morphe 441 and just 
blending this all together. And then I'm going to go in with a small stippling brush, very small, and I'm going to get the tiniest amount of product off this concealer. This is the XX Revolution one, and that's too much. Like, honestly, I want, like, the tiniest bit. And I'm just carving out, um, like, a full cut crease. I'm using very little product. One crease cut and I'm just going to go back in with the shade red hot just to briefly cut it again so make sure the red's still coming through and then again I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 441 brush and just blending that out and then I'm going to go into the shade contest and I'm going to go in on my Morphe 167 brush which looks like this which is the tasty peach matte fine priming spray by um, I Heart Revolution so I'm going to go into the shade I think I'm going to go in in contest it is a shade contest sorry just there so the shade contest and i'm going to apply that all over my lid and then we'll blend it out with a color after so i'm just going to pick that up and place that on my lid. I'm just pressing this as I found that's the best way for these like shadows. I do really like this colour. I'm really liking this look. So I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye and then I'll come back with the lashes on. Um, but that is the look so far. It looks really nice and I like the gradient between the red and the orange and the gold. I think it looks amazing and Hi guys, so I'm back. I've just finished my lashes and we're going to do my face um, and then we're going to go do my under eyes. So for face products, I'm going to go try this new Illuminate and Glow by Revolution, the Illuminating Skin Perfector. And I'm just going to pop this. Oh, I realise that I haven't said the name. Um, so this is in gold. And I'm going to blend this out with a NYX stippling brush. Oh, it smells lovely. If you don't like fragrance and you might not like this, but I love like fragrance on my skin. Even though I know it's like sometimes not the best for you if you have sensitive skin and like problem areas, but wow. And obviously I've moisturised quite a lot, so... Sorry, I'm just messing around with my eyelashes. That looks stunning on the skin. But this is amazing. I actually really, really like this. I also have the pink one, so I will test that out as well at some point. This brush, as much as I love it, it molts so much. It's like having a dog as a brush. Right, so I'm going to go in with the XX Revolution. Um, this is the dewy one. So the pink top in the shade 3. So FX3. And I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. 
I'm going to take like a pump and a half and just blend that all into my skin. I'm just blending this. It's definitely like it came through on my skin how like dewy and it looks amazing. To go in with the XX Revolution, um, I think this is just the XX Revolution concealer, and I've got this in the shade 0 0.2. And I am wanting to brighten my under eye today, so I am gonna wear put on quite a lot. And I just realised I haven't actually brought out a powder so I'm going to have to grab one. Like a brush just really clings to like my dry patches and I know I look crazy right now but I think I put a bit too much on but it is looking really intense the colour. I, You know what? For £10, I absolutely love the eye look that I've created with the th three palettes so far. I've still got the um, avocado one to test out, but a cream contour for this. I'm going to go in with the Studio Fix Perfecting Stick by MAC in NW45. Just because I really do feel like this is going to help bring the colours back together and um, just because I think I've gone a bit harm with the concealer and this will really help to blend that out and I'm gonna show you where I place my concealer uh, my bronzer in well cream bronzer cream contour in a second So as you can see, it looks a bit scary, so I've placed it there, there, um, down here, down my nose, under the, like, under the nose, and then obviously on the other side as well. So this is definitely like a full face. But I would 100% rock this look out. Uh, I would definitely try and pull this off. So this is it so far. Obviously, it, I think it looks a bit crazy in this mirror. I'm just gonna take this down and see if it... Yeah, so this is how it's looking right now. Obviously, I have warmed up the skin quite a lot. I'm gonna apply this now, which is the Beauty Bakery Illuminator. Apply the Beauty Bakery Illuminator in glazed and also the coconut revolution powder keep this where i like where i get oily and also just to give me a bit more like depth on the skin and then i'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Illuminator in Glazed, which looks like this, which I think is such a cute pot. It's very dark. I haven't used this in such a long time. So I'm going to go in with my trusty MAC bronzing brush. And I'm just going to, like, there's barely anything on there. Just going to take it from the top lid and put this on. very dark so this is definitely like a full face of makeup and then I'm going to go into a clean brush which I'm going to use the Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just going to buff this out a bit more the way now the um, leftover powder 
just because I don't want it to leave a little white cast. I'm going to go in with a bit more bronzer on this brush. There is a lot of texture to my skin at the minute, uh, just because obviously I've been wearing quite a lot of makeup. Now I'm going to go in with a highlighter, and because we're doing like a full face, I thought we'd go in with a like loose pigment highlighter. This is the Inglot highlighter in number one yeah I think it's number one it doesn't have a like a shade name but it looks like this and I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 510 brush and I'm just gonna get it from like the lid and just dab so like so and then spray it and then apply I am digging this look guys so far and then on top of my cupid's bow and then I'm going to go back in with my Morphe 441 brush and just like buff this out again just so I can make sure and then I'm going to go in with my so now I'm going to go in with the Morphe 506 brush and I'm going to go back into the chili palette and I'm going to go into the shade Hot Sauce and yeah I'm just going to go into the shade Hot Sauce for now and I'm going to go in with like a what brush is this this is a Morphe 213 and it's like a straight edge and I'm going to go to the shade Cheeky and I'm going to Press this up against the lower lash line. And just bring that all along. And then I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 506 brush. And I'm just going to buff them two colours together. And then we are going to go in to mascara and just coat the lower lashes hi so i'm back to do the lips i'm going in with the trusty glory lip liner by revolution and i'm just going to line my lips with this and now i'm going to go in with the shade flirt by huda beauty And this is the completed look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is a close-up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, this is probably one of my favourite looks that I've created. So it, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could like, subscribe and comment. And let me know what you'd like to see next. And we'll come up with such a fun or everyday look. It would mean a lot. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.